Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I'm giving you all the latest box office news and updates. Unfortunately, we have a brand new member to the Epic Fail Club and that is Cyrano. In its debut opening weekend, Cyrano only landed in ninth place bringing in $1.4 million. Now, I was not expecting a big, huge opening weekend like with Uncharted, but I was expecting around maybe four to $5 million. So what went wrong? Well, the stars were advertising it all over social media and there were advertisements on television so the marketing wasn't an issue. I personally think the general public just is not gravitating towards this type of film, this genre. People want comic book movies, action films, even horror films over period pieces. But also what does not help is the lack of Oscar nominations that this film received. It only received an Oscar nomination for Best Costume Design because usually when films are nominated during award season, that does pique the public's interest. They want to go and see these films that are getting recognized. And so therefore, revenue is driven up just a little bit. But unfortunately, because Cyrano has been lacking in award season in general, that is not helping it. Plus, it was delayed. It was supposed to come out last month and they delayed it one month. So that does not help the situation either. So with all of those factors, poor Cyrano just did not perform the way I wanted it to, the way we all wanted it to. We want success for Peter Dinklage, right? Sorry, Peter Dinklage. All right, so let's move on to something positive with the Batman because we've been waiting for the Batman for so long. It's finally arriving this Friday. So pre-ticket sales are through the roof. Everyone is predicting and it's pretty obvious that the Batman is going to make over $100 million in its opening weekend, despite having almost a three hour runtime. But people are actually predicting between 115 and $130 million. So I'm excited to be sitting here next Sunday across from you reporting about the opening weekend numbers for the Batman. Is it going to exceed our expectations? That is the big question. I don't know but I'm thinking definitely over 100 million. So let's get into what was the top five over this past weekend. Maintaining that number one spot is uncharted. It went down, it dropped just a little bit, but it still brought in 23.2 million, which is still solid worldwide, well over 200 million. So that is a, that is a definitely a success to me. That's success nowadays. Over 200 million worldwide and you're good unless your entire your entire budget is 200 million. So congratulations to Uncharted. You defied all the odds with all the criticism that was thrown at you. All right, in the second and third spot, we have Dog holding up with 10.1 million. And in the third place, Spider-Man No Way Home still, still hanging in there with 5.75 million. Then in fourth and fifth place, we have Death on the Nile with four and a half million. And in the fifth spot, Jackass Forever with 3.1 million. So what is coming to the box office this coming weekend? I already said it, but I'm going to say it again. It is The Batman. We have been waiting for this film. It feels like forever. It is finally debuting with no competition in sight. I looked ahead in the month of March. There's a few movies debuting, but nothing that's really in danger of, of really taking down the Batman, I gotta be honest. So my prediction right now is that the Batman is going to dominate the entire month of March until Morbius debuts on April 1st. So I'm thinking March is all about the Batman. I'm hoping, cross your fingers, Batman's gonna be number one every single week. So what is on streaming, just in case you don't wanna go and see the Batman, I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't, but just in case you don't, here's what we got. So on Netflix, we have The Weekend Away, that looks like a very interesting original film, and then also Pieces of Her, season one. Over on HBO Max, we have Drive My Car. Speaking of award season, this movie is nominated all over the place, so I'm probably gonna check that one out. F9 is coming to HBO Max, as well as West Side Story. Over on Hulu, we have The Dropout with Amanda Seyfried and also a movie with Sebastian Stan called Fresh. Over on Disney Plus, we have West Side Story as well. So whether you have HBO Max or Disney Plus, you can check out West Side Story. Then over on Amazon Prime, we have a documentary about Lucy and Desi called Lucy and Desi, directed by Amy Poehler. That's interesting. And then finally on Peacock, what you've been waiting for, 
Joe versus Carol, the movie about Tiger King. So that is everything that is coming to the box office, but also on streaming this coming weekend. Let me know down below. What are your plans? Are you going to see the Batman or are you not? Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.